Hoping this is not too disturbing, but minimum height for a male on his part. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. When was the light switch moment when you didn't care what people thought? I don't know why you think I don't care. <laughs> I'm human. Um, I mean, there's certain things I really absolutely don't care what people think about, but I'm human and there's definitely like times in where I was, I wish I cared less what people thought. It goes up and down. <laughs> I have noticed that a lot of the time I don't let what I think other people will think of me like affect what I'm going to do if I really want to do it. Did you watch Saturday cartoons as a kid? Yes. Where's one place you would love to travel? I want to go to Japan and eat all the fish. Do you believe in law of attraction? Mm. No, but I think, I mean, I, I think having a positive outlook and putting your energy towards something you want does help in, in the way you think about things, the way you approach things. I think it shifts all that. Do I listen to Danzig? Not really, but I did. For sure. <laughs> when I was like in middle school, high school, I definitely listened to Danzig. I've seen him live. An adventure activity that you're scared to do but want to do someday. No, none. I don't enjoy doing things that feel scary. And I feel like I've done the things that like I was willing to do that were scary. And yeah, I can't think of anything, to be honest. What's it like juggling a busy schedule? I've really slowed down. I used to be like a hardcore workaholic and used to do a lot. And I mean, juggling a busy schedule is exhausting. I found myself doing very little things that I was enjoying. And I had to start scheduling time off. And then as time has gone on and I've started working more just for myself, I've really made it like a big effort to like enjoy life more and not be on the run so much. Like I try to limit the amount of things I have to do and errands I have to do in a day. Sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm not, but I needed to slow down because it made me just stressed out. What is my favorite thing in the world? My dog. And which age were you satisfied with your own personality development? I think I'm still developing and learning and evolving. When I hit my 30s, the way I approached um, other people and my relationship with myself and how I chose to live really changed. Um, I guess in that way, I also just put more work into myself. Living a star life, do you get bored of trying to out every fantasy? Does it interest you of camp? Okay, I have no idea what that person's saying. But I don't try out every fantasy. I'm not necessarily doing all the things I necessarily have interest in acting out my, fan my own fantasies necessarily. Um, I don't get bored of uh, For me, it's first off, I enjoy it. Second, having experiences with different people have like are, is a different experience in itself. Also, like I'm at work making a product, and while like I can definitely I do and I do get into it, or it can be like satisfying to me, it cannot take place of like my own personal life because one is to be consumed, and the other is just for me and that other person, uh, which is very different. What is your favorite tattoo and most expensive one? Um, my favorite tattoo is the most expensive one. It's on my back. Uh, it took a really long time, hence expensive. What is your favorite food? Um, probably sea urchin. What is your favorite fragrance? Ooh, really like oud. Uh, I love neroli. I love orange blossom. Yeah, those are like my favorite scents. How do you prepare yourself for a scene? It depends what kind of scene I'm doing, but like there's the usual of like brushing teeth and you know, taking a shower and shaving. Um, depending on the scene, it means like doing an enema um, or if it's another kind of scene, like I choose not to eat and like drink a lot of Pedialyte depending on like what I'm doing on camera. Um, I don't douche. That is something that other performers do. I will, it's not good for your body. I will not do it. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else. Um, if it's backdoor stuff, I like might stretch out. Um, stretching your entire body actually is a good idea. I don't always do it, but it is a good idea. It is a physical activity. Um, uh, mouthwash um, and hydrate. Quand tu vas faire une vidéo en français, j'ai fait des vidéos en français. Il y a pour kink. Il y a les scènes que j'ai fait avec Manuel Ferreira sur mon OnlyFans. J'ai des scènes en français. Do you have any plan B from when you stop doing any work? Or if you plan to stop? Um, no. Nina Hartley is still working and she's in her 60s. Um, so I don't think I need to have a plan B. I make really good money and I save. And then, you know, it, if I at a certain point like feel like oh this isn't really working for me anymore like then I can plan but there are plenty of people that have like a full career uh, doing what they do so do you rather perform with a male or a um, trans woman I'm not saying the uh, partner and why uh, doesn't matter that's not that's not what is fulfilling for me it's not gender or parts or whatever body count. I'm a grown woman and also a worker. I have absolutely no idea. I'm 35 years old. I was born um, in February. I'm like 5'3 and my weight is none of your business. Who's your favorite wrestler? I don't really watch wrestling. I just kind of like Andre the Giant's vibe and he's dead. So could you date someone in your profession? Um like another performer yeah i would date another performer i never have that's not true that's not true i dated it's just so long ago i dated two other performers in the past have you been or would you be with a mexican i have been with a mexican <laughs> so weird how's the industry evolved in terms of including tattoo performers in mainstream content um it's gotten way better it's still like a thing and there's definitely certain jobs you won't get like heavily tattooed performers get cast less in like feature movies like feature stuff it's changed a lot when i first started there was very little or you could have to be a very specific or if you did have a bunch of tattoos you'd have to have like real big fake titties and you had to be real skinny and there was a very only a very specific way you could be tattooed and that has definitely changed um while i stopped doing a lot of mainstream that was a decision i made um, and I was getting like, I was getting a bunch of work, um, which was great. Um, so I do, I think it's changed quite a bit. Do I have only fans? Yes. Would you be open to having fans or are you not one of those people? I am not one of those people. How is the adult industry now versus when you started? A lot has changed. Performers are able to like make a lot more income and have a lot more choice and people make like less, like honestly, like there's like while there's still like iffy porn i think there's a lot less like racist porn being made less not completely none but um i think people are a little bit more aware i think the way trans women are marketed is different there's a lot of things that are like for the better and that have changed um i think there's like more acceptance of different kinds of body types too like i'm not saying it's like there's you know that phobia and all these things don't exist in it but like there's it's but it's better how tune are you with your iranian culture do you hate gourmet zabzi yes i do um i mean i was my dad's persian obviously my grandparents are that's the grandparents i grew up with um you know i know about my culture my food the art the music the history and the politics um I think enough <laughs> diasporas are a real thing and like things do get lost within that but like I consider myself like Persian you know how many films have you done I have no idea I've shot so many like I have oh, hundreds at this point what kind of music do you like I listen to everything literally everything I like all kinds of music I'll make a video one day of me like going through and showing off some of my records what is the meaning of tattoo in your body? I mean, there's a lot, but most of them have no meaning and it's just because it's cute or I like the thing. What race are you? <laughs> um, 
in Persian, Tunisian, and French. If you could do anything else for what would it be? I would not work. I would be a housewife. I would not have a job if I could do anything else. <laughs> it just would not work. When things get so ridden with anxiety for you, what do you like to do for self-care? I literally liked my significant other to lay on top of me, like slowly crushing me with all their body weight. <laughs> um, just like that, like working out really helps. I can go in to the gym in a really shitty mood and then like come out feeling better. And again, lots of dog cuddling. Your favorite person you no longer speak with. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? I heard you're North African, if so, can you speak a local language? I mean, they speak French and Arabic. I speak French. What is the number one goal you had going into the adult industry and is it done? Um, I mean, one of them was just to like become successful and I did that, so I did it. Favorite food from childhood? I like to cheddar, I really love to cheddar. Have you watched Three Body Problem? Yes, I did. Talking about your first scene, all that went through your head and out what? Um, my first scene would be a whole, <laughs> like a whole other video. Um, yeah, wasn't awesome, um, but pretty funny and a uh, weird little story. I'll I'll keep that for another time because it'd be a long one. What would you consider to be your greatest strength? I'd say I'm pretty self-reflective and willing to admit when I'm wrong and willing to put like work into talking things out with people, which I think is like really important and something like a lot of people don't know how to do. It's helped me navigate life and maintain important relationships and rekindle uh, relationships. I do not have children, no. What are the things that make you the happiest? Hanging out with my sister, hanging out with my boyfriend, uh, nature, my dog, listening to music, eating mushrooms. If I like just like kind of tune out to the rest of the world and focus on little things, it brings me a lot of joy. Bye guys.